All right, guys, it's almost time to look at AMD's Ryzen Threadripper processor. We don't have performance for you today. We don't have a review, but we do have all of this stuff the day AMD sent along for the testing. Uh, we have, first we'll start over here, they sent along a 360 millimeter water cooler, which is maybe indicative of the power consumption or heat that this processor is gonna generate. Um, this is, uh, has RGB capabilities, it's the thermal take flow ring, I don't know if it's pronounced differently because of the spelling, but that's what it is. They also sent along a 1200 watt thermal take tough power gold power supply. You know, unnecessary unless you're going to go with uh, a lot of multi-GPU connectivity, uh, but they wanted to make sure everybody had the best of the best when building with this platform. We are using the ASUS ROG Zenith Extreme motherboard. It's X399 part. Uh, we'll take a look at that and kind of see how massive that TR4 socket is. And then they sent along four DIMMs of this uh, Trident Z RGB memory from G-Skill. This is uh, two 32 gig kits, so we'll have, uh, I'm sorry, two 16 gig kits, we'll have 32 gigs total, four channels of 3200 megahertz memory. And then they also have this case, this kind of uh, uh, bulletproof looking kind of travel case that we assume holds the Ryzen Threadripper processors. The case they sent it in is actually customized with the Threadripper logo. It's even got the PC Perspective logo up top here, so that's nice. We go ahead and pop this open, and inside we have both of the Ryzen Threadripper processors that are launching, the 1920X, 1950X, and this is probably my favorite part, guys. They sent us an extra processor that's kind of like got the PC Perspective logo customized in it, uh, and uh, that's, that's actually pretty awesome. I don't know if we're gonna plug that in to see if it works or not. I think maybe it's a top secret model we'll have to take a look at. Now, inside here, what they've done is very tightly packed. We have those Threadripper packaging and cases that we saw leaked out over the last couple of weeks or so. They're uh, substantial here, uh, and they have some interesting locking and unlocking characteristics we're gonna take a look at. They even, you can see back here, AMD included some LED light rings in the background in order to illuminate through the logo on here. I don't think you'll get that on the standard retail release, uh, but impressive nonetheless. Let's rip one of these guys open. So this is it, this is that Threadripper packaging. Uh, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Some people think it looks like an old school TV or mini fridge. Uh, I actually like the design. I think uh, it clearly shows that they spend a lot of time thinking about it. They have a lot of confidence in this, in this product or they have a lot of uh, uh, need for this product to be successful at least. Um, you got the kind of Eye of Sauron space logo there behind it. It's hard to see without that illumination, but the Ryzen Threadripper logo is, is there, and it's, it's kind of like a, it's basically a styrofoam edging to it. Uh, and then we'll have this unlock the power option, but before we do that, apparently, we have to rip it here, and this actually makes me sad to have to do, tear this perforation of the Threadripper 1950X. Oh, that's pretty sad, actually. Now we'll go ahead and take that labeling off and more Threadripper branding on that. This just kind of slides off. And this comes out. We have this little module now, okay. And if we twist it to unlock it, the back of it comes out, we have this. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Uh, and this is, this is using like a, a fan style clip to keep it locked down. And remove it like that. And this is gonna pop open that way. And there you go, there's our AMD Ryzen Threadripper, the largest processor to ever come into the PC Perspective offices. Oh man. And then, <laughs> geez, old feet. Uh, this is going to slide out. Wow. Uh, and there you have the processor. I think you actually use this orange clip during the installation onto the motherboard itself because it's actually kind of latched into place there. And as you set it down, it will get released. Let me see if I can figure out how to get it loose without that. Slide that out. There you go. Threadripper 19. 50X, my goodness, that is, uh, that's a big boy. Upon further discovery, we found that underneath this, what I thought was just your directions, which uh, does in fact include 
not just your case sticker, but a larger Ryzen Threadripper sticker in there as well, we find this fairly important tool to the insulation process. What you're looking at here is a torque wrench specific to the tightening level that you'll have to use to install your Threadripper processor rated at 1.5 Newton meters or 15 kilograms centimeters. Uh, that's uh, interesting. This is this tells you a little bit about the complexity of the insulation process that Threadripper is going to require. And then also in here, AMD has included a mounting bracket for water coolers, those that, that use the teeth style insulation method to mount to the TR4 system. If you have a different cooler uh, in mind, then you're not going to be able to use this, obviously, but uh, obviously this will be the kind of the recommended model for Threadripper going forward. Ooh. I also wanted to take a quick look at the ROG Zenith Extreme. This is the X399 chipset motherboard, uh, probably the flagship offering from ASUS, and it's impressive. And it's nice to see flagship offerings for uh, an Intel or rather an AMD processor once again. You can see we've got the massive TR4 socket up here for that Threadripper processor. We'll go through the installation process in a different video. Uh, four full-size PCI Express by 16 slots, uh, although we do have up to, uh, we have those SLI bridges included here as well. DIMM slots, four, uh, eight DIMM slots for quad-channel memory. We have the DIMM.2 slot as well, two eight-pin power connectors. This is a robust, high-powered motherboard. We've got 802.11 AC and AD support on it. Um, USB 3.1 gigabit Ethernet, but maybe more impressively are the kind of added features that ASUS includes this. Not, I'm not talking about the stickers here, uh, but if we look inside the accessory box, we have our high bandwidth SLI bridge included as well, which is nice touch. And then we have a 10 gigabit Ethernet card, as I try to get it out of here, uh, included as well. So even though it's not on board, it is included with the system here. You've got your antenna for the 802.11 uh, AC and AD connections, USB, thermal probes, all the stuff you'd possibly need for your new Threadripper build. Well, there you have it. That's as far as we can go for now. Check back soon where we'll have the full performance review next week. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting in-depth technical content by contributing at patreon.com slash pcper.